welcome back to Pacific Rim Station. And today I'm just redoing the mountains and hills on my layout to make it look less cartoonish and real, more realistic. I already started doing this yesterday. I already finished one mountain. I just have to paint it and maybe add a bit more actual plaster. No, no. And not well, what I'm about to show you is I got plaster cloth. It comes with a lot, 10 square uh, feet. Or I think it was, 10, yeah, 10 square feet. And I just, on that mountain, I took some of the foam off and then put paper like I'm over there. And yeah, that's all I'm doing. So time lapse showing you the process of me cutting the other part of the mountain, this part over here, and just redoing it. The reason why I have a jacket on is because it's November now, and where I live, it rains so much in November, and it gets really cold. Not really for me, but some somewhat, and kind of, especially in the garage, which is what I'm in. That's why I'm wearing a jacket, and that's it. Just so you know, I don't like hockey. I just got the jacket because well, I like Kraken and the logo is pretty cool. And well, I live near Seattle and I don't like sports, okay? So just don't think that. Also, the reason why I'm making a video midday, probably wondering why, like not in school because it's parent teacher conference week and I get out of school at 12 o'clock for some reason. They make it so early. So I have time to do this and yeah, I'm going to the mountain again. Yeah. Okay, continuing on with the video. Okay, so what I did here, you just get a ball. Don't, don't crinkle it up a lot because then it looks too, well, it's wrinkled, but it looks too smooth. Like, it'll be really small wrinkles. But then here, it looks kind of like this part I already messed up, so I'll get another piece. All I'm doing is light wrinkles, and then you see the difference? This kind of light, this one rougher, so more. But I'll just do this a bit more, and there. It looks more than So, what I'm going to do is put this on top of here like that. And yeah, rougher. So, wrinkle the tape up as you place it. lower this will look because it's lower so it'll be lighter wrinkles so more wrinkles It doesn't have to be fully stuck down. Remember, plaster is going to be on top of this. It will just leave it under there. So, so there. That looks fine. That looks good. So, I just want to put higher up here. It'll go around here. And over here, oh, I believe. Over here is where it'll be more rocky. So, that'll be a section of the video. But still the same video. Let's see. do up here and then continue. This one will be more wrinkles because it's higher up. Or less wrinkles. Maybe. This kind of can loose. I'll just grab quick glue. Part is trickier, so it's quite easy, simple. And then, 
kita potong di sana. Similar things over there, I use these to stick them together better. It obviously helped, but I'll just rip these out. I placed the paper on the top now, and I kind of covered this part with it just to, instead of putting the wood to cover it, so I just, you know, like using this because I have it now, and it still matches with what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do, just put that piece of tape back over there, kind of clean it up a bit more, and then uh, do the plastic part, and probably when I get more, do this that part. I don't know when I'm doing this later, that will be a different video. Okay, so for this, you just need a tub of water, like a tub of water, that's what I use, and that's the plaster from yesterday from that mountain. And then over here, I have this survey wrap to cover the tracks so they don't get full of plaster because it would be bad. And then, yeah, and then you can it and I'll record that part. Just Okay, so I have the tracks like that covered in saran wrap, same with the tracks up here. It's mainly, it's just the rails, really. The areas where the train will go over. The track, I don't know if it's here. It's covered in ballast anyway. But, okay, I have the plaster cloth right here. And just do that. So, this is when you do need scissors. So, just like, just cut it. It's like cutting cloth. Because now it is cloth, but plaster on it. So, you just have this. Here. You just dunk it. And well, now I can't touch the iPad to twist it to turn it over to the other side, but you just do that, just place it on top, and it gets really soft after you dunk it in the water. I'm not, I'm just going to keep the eye. I'm almost out of this plaster cloth. I need to buy some more for this for the entire layout. But... Such big square strips, but like little thin strips to just place on the bottom like that. So I'm just going to upload this video right now. I'm not done yet. I ran out of plaster cloth and I still have to do the other side and finish this side and do the middle. So I will hopefully buy another roll tomorrow and continue this on a part two video.